Hello, my name is Robert Wood. I'm currently studying at Leeds Beckett. I'm studying business management with finance. One of the modules we are looking at is understanding markets and customers. The first assignment we have been set in this module is to create an eight minute video presentation showing the marketing of a chosen company and whether it is effective. The company I have chosen to do is Tesco. I'll explain a little bit more about Tesco later on in the video. So first of all, who are Tesco? According to Mintel, Tesco are one of the world's largest retailers operating in 12 different countries, employing over 500,000 people. They serve over a million customers a week through their stores and online shopping. So now, let's look at what marketing actually is. Well, according to CIM, marketing is the management process of anticipating, identifying and satisfying customer requirements. This basically means marketing is meeting the customer's needs giving the customer what they want another de definition i have from the ama 2013 is marketing is the activity and the process of creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value to customers clients partners and society as a large what does market orientation mean? Initially, market orientation emphasizes focusing on meeting the customer needs. Doyle and Stern talk about market orientation being a key element in a customer-led business. Customer orientation. Market orientation signals the importance of an organization's concerned approach to its marketplace. This means all the employees are responsible for marketing, not just the marketing department, as you will see from the diagram I am about to show you. The image you have just seen is a snapchat from the BBC News, talking about the horse meat scandal. The horse meat scandal was an incident where Tesco replaced some meats in their products with horse meat as it was cheaper for them to purchase. This therefore increased their profit margins. Now this shows me they are not a market orientated organisation as they did not look at what the customer needs. They focused on how they can increase profits. This shows me they are a profit orientated organisation. Now, let's talk about an example where Tesco are market oriented. As you can see from the chart from Mintel, I'm going to show you in a minute, convenience is the highest ranked area affecting whether customers will shop at your stores or competitors stores. According to lecture one, slide 13, marketing orientation involves every employee of the organization, not just the marketing department. Tesco are the current market share leaders in the retail industry. As you can see from this Minto report, I'm about to show you. As Tesco are the market share leaders, their stores must be convenient. This shows me that even the people who chose where to locate their stores thought about the customer and how convenient the store would be. This shows they had a market orientation strategy. Overall, I do believe Tesco are market oriented, as according to Mintel, they are the market leaders, which shows me they do meet the customer's needs. But, I do believe on more than one occasion, Tesco have focused on profit orientation. 
as they have lowered their own cost and not passed this decrease onto the customer, therefore increasing their profit margins, showing they are profit orientated sometimes. I'm now going to talk about the marketing environment and how it affects Tesco as an organization. The marketing environment includes two key areas, macro and micro marketing. You'll see what these are from the diagram I'm about to show you. The first area I'm going to talk about is the macro environment. According to lecture two, slide three, the macro environment is the major external and uncontrollable factors that influence an organization's decision making and affects its performance and strategies. These factors include different areas such as demographic, legal, political, social and natural forces. These are aspects that the organization cannot control, such as earthquakes or stuff happening within the government such as Brexit. Recently, the United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union. This was called Brexit. Tesco, as an organisation, had no impact on this man as it was a political impact. The effect of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union had an effect on the Great British Pound. It fell to its lowest point in the last six years, according to the independence. This independent news report explained why supermarket prices are likely to rise. Due to the fact United Kingdom have left the European Union, the pound has started to decrease in value. So when supermarkets such as Tesco purchase products in other countries such as Europe or America, the value of the pound, the Great British Pound, will be less in euros and dollars. This will result in Tesco having to use more Great British Pounds to buy the same products. Now, Tesco might pass this cost, cost over to the customers as they wouldn't want to affect their own profit margins. But then, customers might want to go to more low cost supermarkets such as Audi. So Tesco have a trade off. Let's have a look at the micro environment and how it affects Tesco. First, what is the micro environment? According to lecture two, slide 11, the micro environment is factors or elements in an organization's immediate area of operations that affect its performance and, dec and decision-making freedom. These factors include competitors, customers, distribution channels, suppliers, and the general public. This BBC News report explains that Tesco withheld money that they owed to suppliers for over 12 months to improve their own financial position. Now this isn't good for the suppliers as if the suppliers have other things to pay for such as bills or loans, they won't have the cash flow available to pay for these aspects. They may have had to go and get loans to pay for these other aspects, which will then result in them having to pay more money back due to interest. Now this actually didn't have an effect on the financial side of Tesco, as Tesco received no fines for this incident. But I believe it had a massive effect on Tesco's reputation. Many suppliers will have seen this news report explaining that Tesco withheld payments for more than 12 months and they didn't receive a fine. This will put suppliers off from supplying to Tesco. They may look to supply to other supermarkets such as Asda or Morrisons. <laughs> 